I'm just gonna dunk my head in this. I cannot believe we are about to do this. This is what my hair looks like right now. Please tell me we're rinsing in sections. You know how I was putting them in tinfoil earlier and putting them up here? So the leaked. No! Hi, beautiful. Let's watch some people destroy their hair together. I am going to be dyeing my hair while bleaching my hair, really, from this dark natural color. I miss my blonde hair and I want to go blonde again. Oh, sh. We got a lot going on. Her hair is so, 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 so dark at the top. It looks like she has a, a natural dark root and then she has lightened ends, um, some kind of like ombre going on. It's gonna be a lot to lighten this. She gotta make sure she does the dark parts first and then the light parts or, I mean, there's a lot of different ways of doing it, but like, it's not gonna be easy. I just tried to say that in five different ways and none of it came out right. So all I wanted to say was it's not gonna be easy. So I went to my friend Sally's and got everything I need. Yay, we went to Sally. You can find X-Mono color at Sally. I do not have running water, so tubs of water, hopefully, will do. Shut the fridge. Shut it. Shut the fridge. You're kidding. You are gonna do this whole process without having any running water. Oh boy. Good luck with that. I don't know how you're gonna bleach your hair without running water. To get bleach out of your hair takes so much water. You have to do at least two to three shampoos to get all of that bleach out of your hair. It tends to sit in there and stay in there as long as it possibly can. And if you do not wash it up properly, it will get kind of chalky feeling and really dry. I have this little mirror and one behind me I found in the trash on the side of the road. This thing right here and then use that to like see the places in the back. This is wild. I have never seen anybody try to bleach their hair in a um, van. This is new. I've got hairbrush. I've got my possible water stuff. I have some uh, jug of water under the sink here. Bleach and developer. I'm sorry, I just can't believe she thinks she's gonna wash all this bleach off with just like a gallon of water. Or like, I don't mean, maybe it was like five gallons, but like, how the hell are we gonna do this? Bowl and brush thingy, mixy thing. No running water, but we do have a brush and a bowl. I'd rather you have running water than a brush and a bowl. I have bleached my hair in the past. There's some crazy stuff going on with it right now. This all is natural. This is from a previous um, box dye. Just from when it was blonde, like, oh, long long time ago ah uh, <laughs> so she has her natural root which is like not the problem right that's the easiest part of her hair then she has a brown box dye that's gonna pull red pull very warm while she lightens it that's gonna be stubborn and then she has very very blonde ends which is going to be a situation for breakage um we gotta be really be careful to not apply the lightener there first or second but definitely last or else it's going to be in a very scary situation with breakage oh where i'm staying right now there's some cows he is going to watch me do my hair today. She's dead ass coloring her hair in a farm. First, I'm gonna cut these into strips that I can use to process my hair. They need to be like this big. Ooh, we're whipping out the foils. Okay, foils are great for, for processes like this because we want to get the most lift power when the hair is this dark. However, it's just very hard to use foils on yourselves, especially in the back of your head. It just gets really messy. And honestly, I never really see people do it correctly by themselves. So I kind of rather you just not use foil, but that's just me. I'm so dumb. I just realized that this comes with the tear thingy. Okay, we're off to a very rocky start. We didn't even know that a foil dispenser had a cutting edge on it, which concerns me. Because if you don't know that, then I don't know how much you're gonna know about bleaching your hair. That seems like common sense to me. The hair is brushed and I'm going to start mixing the bleach. Her hair is so long and so thick. <laughs> like there's so much going on. I'm doing a tiny amount first so that I can do my strand test. The one and a half ratio. Wow, we are doing the proper mixing ratio though. That is very impressive. <laughs> I need my gloves. You should put gloves on for sure. Okay, no, it's too late. Ah! Okay, I'm glad she's working from the back bottom and working her way up. Guys, horizontal slices, okay? Not clumps of hair. You know how, see how this is like a big clump? You're not gonna get in the middle of that clump. It's gonna have dark spots in between because we need flat, thin pieces of hair, not circular clumps. That way all the lightener can get through the hair properly and you don't have any missing spots. But that is saturated, painted on there nicely. Oh, it ripped, okay. 
We're good. It's okay. This is fine. Everything's fine. Also, an inch from the root, okay? We leave an inch from the root. No more, no less. You can do a little bit less, but no more than that, okay? Or else you are gonna have more issues than hot roots, okay? You're gonna have, you're gonna have banding, you know? The hot roots is one thing. We also don't want to go too far down from the root, or else you get a whole nother can of issues. It has been a little over 30 minutes, and now this test strand I am going to take out before my hair falls off. So I'm gonna get these gloves. Is that actual cows moving in the background and she just ignored it? It's just like regular life, just like being with cows bleaching your hair. I don't know. It does look brassy and orangey, but like it's starting to get light. We gotta get to the next piece, okay? Her hair is already turning orange, and we haven't even started the second piece of hair. Guys, the bleach starts processing right when it hits the first strand. You gotta work quickly so that everything processes equally at the same amount of time. We don't want the hair down here to be just like sizzling off by the time you get to the top, right? So I'm going to get some water, fill this thing up, and then rinse this strand with it into this bucket like that. Why are we rinsing the strand? It's just, it's orange. Don't you want to be blonde? What is going on? Look at that. That consistency looks pretty good. It's good to use something a little bit runny so that it gets through all the hair strands. And she is putting in the work, trying to get every single strand of her hair inside of a foil. And listen, it's looking pretty decent so far. I'm just really worried about her ends and her mids because there's all different colors going on and she's kind of just treating everything like it's one color. You can do this a lot of different ways. Like you could do the dark parts first with a higher developer, say 30 volume, let that process rinse it out. How I would approach a situation like this is probably to do a really long foil, get a good slice of hair in there and then go on the darkest parts with 30 volume the lighter parts with 20 volume and the lightest part with probably nothing maybe just a bleach wash at the um, shampoo bowl that way everything processes evenly and even then it might not be totally even but with a good toner at the end everything should come out nice and even however doing it like this things are still gonna be uneven she's gonna have dark lighter lightest just nice and thick on there just get it really saturated that didn't look very saturated to me i'm gonna be honest with you okay i'm gonna mix more bleach and finish up the roots all right and this is the last of it now I let it sit. At least she did let the mids and ends get to blonde before she applied her roots. You gotta make sure it gets to blonde before you do your roots. Is that clear? Okay, you can't just go and apply the roots right away. You gotta make sure they're blonde. This, after one process of bleach. Oh, okay. This is it after two bleaches. It's so yellow. Oh my God. Hold on, damn man, what just happened? So she did one bleach, it was quite coppery, and then all of a sudden we're at two bleaches. Okay, I need to fix this. I mean, I knew it was gonna look like this, but it's just like so crazy vibrant yellow and I always forget what it looks like. Honestly though, why does the yellow kind of look cool? Like she just has the nicest hair ever and the nicest hair texture. She has a skin tone that complements like a ginger tone very well with the freckles and the pink under tones um i don't know i kind of like it <laughs> she like really pulls off the diy hair for some reason i don't say that a lot but you know what i mean does anybody agree with me tell me it also drives me crazy that the ends are darker than the top of her hair like it should be the opposite way i need to take like a violet toner to tone out the yellow because that's like the opposite color of it on the color wheel we get a little more orange than yellow going on here it seems to me and the opposite of orange is blue so you might want to treat the top with some more violet tones and the ends with some more blue tones the top is like than the ends. You're gonna wanna use like a level nine all over. That way it brings the top area down a bit so it's not so bright compared to the ends, but I'm sure you're not gonna do that. Don't come at me. I used the shower, okay? I used the shower that's on this property because I'm sorry, but I could not. The bleach was itching my skin. It was all over my body. It was all over my scalp. Thank God. God! There was no way you're gonna be able to do that with a bowl. Okay, I got lots of this stuff. T18 might make a little bit of a difference in her hair, but not the optimal toner for her hair color. Let's do this. It's looking a little purple. This is where we're at right now. Yes, it is supposed to look gray, a little darker, purplish. Once it rinses off, it will not look like that. T18 is interesting because it gets really dark blue slash purple when it's toning, and then you rinse it out and it kind of all goes away. It's it's a weird one. It's a scary one. I'm almost done, and then I can let it sit. Officially gotten toner all over my hair. Like, look at how dark that is. Ooh. It is almost time to wash it out, and this is the part I'm nervous about because I do not know how the whole water rinsing situation is going to go. It's not going to go well without a shower, I'll tell you that much. <gasps> Probably not a great idea. I'm going to get purple everywhere. Whatever the color this is. I'm just gonna dunk my head in this. I cannot believe we are about to do this with a bowl of water. We're about to rinse off toner with a bowl of water. How the f are you gonna do that? 
But we're dipping the hair back in the dirty bowl of water. How is it gonna get clean? Are you kidding? Ha, just kidding. I love it. It is not too gray. It is not too yellow. It is like the perfect tone. I am so happy I did this and I can't believe I did it. I like the yellow better. I don't know why, but the yellow was just really cool on you. I mean, I love it. I love you blonde. I think you look so, so cool. But I gotta tell you, I like the yellow. You with copper hair would be my favorite thing ever to see. Like, please, can we Photoshop copper on her real quick? This is what you should have. Like a very, very light copper. Oh, gorgeous. But you look great and I really like the vibe. I, you just have beautiful hair. I don't know how you just washed out toner in a bowl of water. That's really impressive. This will be the first time I'll be bleaching my own hair. And although it's my first time bleaching my own hair, I have bleached my hair in the past probably like four times in my whole lifetime, but they were done by a professional. But you know, when you go to a professional, they cost a lot of money. You'd be surprised at how much it costs to do it yourself though. Honestly guys, I feel like nobody ever like checks the bill at the end of these videos and is like, oh shit. I just spent $300 and an entire three days or three weeks of my time doing this when I could have just went to a salon and probably just paid $300 in most places you guys live to do this and probably was, would only take, you know, I don't know, depends on the situation, but like five hours. Sometimes I really think y'all don't do the math. The math isn't mathing very well. Usually if I have my hair bleached and then have a color on there, it costs around $300, $400 here in California. Yeah, I think I'm done doing that. And I actually want to try doing this on my own. Listen, I'm all for you guys doing it on your own. As long as you're okay with the possibility of your hair falling off. And if you're gonna try it on your own, just film it, you know? Why not? I've seen enough YouTube videos and I think I could do it. Like, I'm pretty confident I could do this. All right, let's see. Yeah, with that said, I actually did my research. I'm not just doing this just cause and just out of the blue. I have my notes here from Brad Mondo's video. I was thinking you were gonna say my name at some point soon <laughs> when you said you learned a lot from YouTube. I was ready and you got your list. All right, let's see. Interesting that you chose cream lightener since I do not like cream lightener. I think I said that in every video, unless I somehow said that I liked it in that other video that you watched. I don't like it. Maybe one day I will, but anyways, okay. Already going against my my wishes. Cream lightener and 30 volume. 30 volume, love. Cream lightener, sure. And we are mixing with the back of this, this the, brush, which I, you know what? I wouldn't have chose to do it like that because that's a lot of work. You can also just use the bristles of the brush. It's much easier. <laughs> that looks like a lot of work. Never tried doing it like that. You must have been mixing that for 20 minutes. Okay, we are starting from the bottom of the hair and working our way up. Love to see it. The only thing is, again, guys, the sections are way too big. We want paper thin so you can see through the section. I definitely said that. I definitely said that. Also, use your hands. Get that lightener through every single strand, every single piece. That is your most important job while doing this. I just rinsed out my hair and I officially look like Mary Jane from Spider-Man. Yo, that was an hour with 30 volume. Holy shit. You gotta need a lot more lightning than that. That is almost red still. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of work. Uh, she gotta do this like five times. I mean, in the salon, we would have done foils. It would have processed way lighter, way faster. There are parts of it where it's completely light. Like this is very light. Sometimes those lighter parts happen because the hair is all laid on top of itself and there's no kind of air getting through the sections. When you get it done properly in salon, we like to not push the sections down on top of each other. That way the airflow can get through evenly so that the hair all processes evenly. You don't get hot spots like this. This particular strand is very light, but definitely the top is very orange and it's almost like it's like brown. Yep, all the pieces at the bottom are very light. That is because it got way too hot underneath there. I'm also doing the bag method just like earlier. <laughs> I love this bag thing. Like what? Is, how is that bag even staying up? She got it clipped. Okay, I see. That is the most creative thing ever. All right, cool. <laughs> I mean, I like that she's incubating, right? She's keeping that heat in so that the hair can process nicely and fast and can process further with the heat. Bleach loves heat, but not dry heat. It likes moisture. It likes humidity, hot humidity. The roots we left out were a little inconsistent. It all needs to be an inch from the root, okay? So when people start
start laying the hair on top of itself, we start to like drag that root down. Like it gets longer and longer. So try to avoid doing that. And also you gotta get closer. You gotta get closer or else you're gonna get banding. So here is my hair washed and fully bleached. Okay, let me show you guys how it looks like in the back. I actually have never seen the back, so you guys are First. It's not the worst case scenario. I think that we still have a lot of work to do. It's getting somewhere. It's definitely very red and like pink and orange and copper. And I'm a little worried about some of those pieces breaking off because they're a little bit light, but you know, we'll see. Definitely, it's not quite there yet to tone because if we tone this now, we're not gonna get any results because it's not lifted enough. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I think the reason why the bottom part is more blonde or it lifted better than the top is because you know it's been processing longer than the top that's exactly what it is if you're gonna work really slow around your head i mean just in general really you should wash in sections right so if you do the back right first wash the back right out first and so on and so forth or else the hair is gonna process unevenly throughout the head all right we are on round two let's see where we can get with round two Ooh, it's already getting light. Why did we start with the front though? I just rinsed it out and I got so excited when I saw it in the mirror. I am officially blonde. All the brassiness is gone. I would have let that process for a good 20 to 30 minutes longer. I mean, it looks blonde, but it's not quite blonde blonde yet. Like it's not quite pure blonde. It still has a bit of that copper mixed in there. And what are we gonna do those roots? We're gonna keep rinsing without doing the roots. Like, once the hair is blonde, you can apply the roots. Except when you guys do it like this, where you kind of just take random sections, doing your roots after makes it almost impossible. Because when we're doing it in a salon, we're doing horizontal, very clean sections, okay? We're doing the mids and ends. And then we go back through what we've already sectioned out and do the roots from there. That way we don't have to section multiple times and things stay nice and well organized as we go through and do the roots. We have completed the second round of bleach. Let's see how it looks. I just washed my whole head. Okay, let me show you guys the back. I actually haven't seen it myself, but hopefully it's okay. Ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> Okay, it's something. It's getting there. It looks a little gooey and slimy. I don't know. I need to see it dry. I'm a little scared. It looks a little damaged. You know how I was putting them in tinfoil earlier and putting them up here, stacking them up? Some of them leaked and this is what happened. Uh, what is that bleeding? No. Oh, I'm scared. That's going to overprocess. All right, we're going through and doing the roots section by section very nicely. This is also a good opportunity to go back on all the pieces that are under process process while you're doing the roots. Once you section, if you see like a little orange spot, paint that too. If you see another one, paint that too. You know what I mean? Like you can kind of perfect your work from here. And guess what? We have banding because the root was about two inches and we only need one inch, okay? We need to go precisely one inch from the root when we do the mids and ends, not two, because you're gonna get orange banding because the hair is too far from the scalp to get heat from the scalp. And so things get orange and get weird. So this is my hair after it's dry. It's actually not bad. I guess I don't need to bleach it the third time. Pretty nice and bright and very light now. So this is definitely ready for toning. She is blonde blonde. She can definitely even this out with a good toner, but we're gonna use T18, I'm sure. And it's not gonna be the right toner for her. say that the product works better if I dampen my hair so I went to go put some water from the faucet just real quick. Hey guys it's me and it's been a week later and I just want to show you guys my hair in sunlight. So far it is still blonde and that is because I use purple shampoo to keep it blonde and also it's pretty relatively healthy. It's also not dead looking and fried. It is not too bad from what she started with to what she has now. I mean it's pretty good. In case you're wondering if I did anything else besides what you saw in the video, I did put on some hair mask after each session of bleach and I think that kept my hair from getting really frizzy and fried looking so my hair looks pretty good but for the most part I am still blonde so I'm happy 
and I'm really happy of how it came out in general. For someone who freaking doesn't know what they were doing, this is pretty damn good. I think it's pretty damn good for black, black, black hair. Woo! Oh my god, you scared me for a minute. But like, obviously there's inconsistencies with the work. I mean, it's still a DIY at home job, but I'm glad I could help you get a pretty good look that um, only a hairstylist would know that it's not done professionally, you know? But I'm glad I could help. Honestly, though, I would love to see your hair in pink. And we also have this brand new color that just came out. It is our limited edition shade shifting purple and pink shift. We actually have three colors in this line. It is our blue to purple shift and our pink to red shift. And lastly, the one I just mentioned, purple and pink shift. I am so proud that we developed something that dramatically shifts in different lights. Now, some colors do shift naturally in other lights, but we developed something that will dramatically shift and change in all different lighting scenarios, especially bright light and dark light. It is the coolest technology. They are also selling really fast right now. These are limited edition and we will not be restocking them. If you want to see more information about these brand new limited edition shade shifting colors, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmonocolor.com. Today I want to dye my hair blonde. Um, I also need a really big change in my life and I feel like if I dyed my hair blonde, that would do the trick. Okay, so she has obviously very, 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 very dark hair. Another one with really dark hair. It looks to be all her natural hair. So I'm excited because this, it's not the easiest case scenario, but it is not the worst case by far. Like she obviously has very dark, thick, coarse hair, but since it's all seems to be her natural color, it should lift nice and evenly if she applies the bleach correctly, which again, also is the hard part. Like honestly, I just have to do it. I haven't even gotten ready. I haven't even ate breakfast yet. But I'm gonna dye my hair blonde so that when the bleach sets in, I can do all that stuff and I'm like not wasting time. Oh my God, this is me being severely impulsive. Based on how frantic she is and manic seeming, I'm a very worried about her handling bleach and, and doing anything with bleach actually. So my method is that I'm going to be bleaching all of my hair first and then I'm gonna go in a second round of bleach and then make it like have dimension. Whoa, where is the dimension going? Maybe I'll do three rounds today, who knows? My hair's gonna fall off today. I don't really know what I'm doing. Whoa, foreshadowing the hair falling off, oh shit. Am I going to regret this in the future? Yes. We are set up for failure, huh? <laughs> so I have this bleach by whatever it's called. You guys probably shouldn't try this at home. This is just for entertain entertainment purposes. Sorry, I don't have much to say. I'm just like watching with you. I'm just baffled by what's going on. I am preparing myself mentally for what's about to happen. So we're gonna do it. <laughs> so I have this bleach. It's the Blonde V bleach. I got it from Amazon. I don't know, I'm just happy we have gloves. That just made me happy. Like, I didn't think she was gonna even have gloves. I didn't even think she was gonna have proper bleach. Like, she's honestly off to a good start. Better than I could have expected. I just asked my friend, I was like, should I go to work or should I dye my hair? And she goes, dye your hair pink. I'm not gonna dye my hair pink, but blonde is close enough. I agree with your friend, dye your hair pink, but also go to work. Because sometimes it's important to have a job. <laughs> Time to get this party started. Maybe I should section off my hair before I do this. First section of bleach, let's go. All right, we're going with foils again. Foils seems to be the, the choice for today. Well, I'm impressed with everybody's choice to do foils. It's not an easy thing to do. And that section is massive, way too big. We're not gonna get even close to all that hair. Ooh, it's real. Okay, I'm really doing it. This is a terrible application process. <laughs> You don't need a brush. You don't. I mean, like, if you're gonna do this at home and you're gonna do this sloppy anyway, so <laughs> sorry. Let's just be honest. Uh, just use your hands and smush it in there. Get it all up in that hair. Oh, we did comb it through though. I don't mind when people comb it through. I really, I actually enjoy that. And that's good. But after you comb the hair and you have a bunch of excess lightener on the comb or bleach, whatever you want to call it, take that lightener and put it back on the hair because we want it to be very saturated. And sometimes it can kind of take off that excess lightener off some strands and you don't want that. This is kind of therapeutic, low key. Oh my God, first section done. Fun. Okay, this is terrible. Second bleach. Can I get a bleach in town? A bleach in town. I'm actually shocked at how good this is going. This is terrible because I know my battery's gonna die. What am I doing with my life? What are... oh, look, it's already lifting. Won't you look at that? Beautiful. Wow, would you look at that? The ends are lifting blonder than the rest. Did you have previously colored hair? I think you did. 
I don't know. I'm a little suspicious. Something is going wrong here. I did go through a little emo phase over quarantine and decide to just go at it with my hair. And it honestly didn't look that bad. I wanted to go for like Billie Eilish's little gray silver hair moment and I did and I achieved it. I knew it. She already had previously bleached hair. And that is why the ends are lifting faster than the rest. There's a lot going on in this head. Things are gonna lift weird and uneven. Oh, great. But my hair is really healthy. I'm gonna jinx something. My hair like can stand each. Wow, we are using a paddle board to paint the lightener on with. I am impressed. Very hairstylist e of you. This is what my hair looks like right now. How did the, oh my God. Oh, actually, well, it looks kind of good, I guess. I was gonna say, how did the back get so light, but she started with the back. The back is blonde and the front is black. I think we took a little too long going around the head here. I hope we rinse in sections. Please tell me we're rinsing in sections. So I was foiling and then I was just like, I'm kind of tired of foiling. So then I just stopped. Honestly, this, this is the worst. I think it could be worse, you know? That's why the back is so much lighter because she just stopped foiling. No, it was going so well. Plus we did the root color at the same time as the ends. Things are gonna be uneven. She's gonna get hot roots. Oh, fuck. So I just made my mom bleach my hair for me and my head is burning off. I am in so much pain right now. That is because you are lightening your roots twice, which you only need to do it once. And you probably just shampooed your hair and now you applied more lightener to your roots because I think she's on round two, by the way. So she probably shampooed, then applied more lightener. Once that scalp already had bleach on it and you shampoo, applying a second round is painful as fuck. And I do not recommend it. So this is what my hair currently looks like. Well, actually, it's not that bad. It's definitely yellow, but like it looks sort of even. It's extremely dead. I had to cut. Look at these ends. It's extremely dead. Oh, the ends are scary. And that is where you previously had lightened hair. It is all falling off. I mean, I'm going to tone my hair and I'm going to give it low lights all in the same day. And yes, I'm going to regret it because my hair is definitely going to fall out. But I deserve what's coming. My hair is extremely yellow and I tried toning it and it didn't work. And I think it's because I like, had water on my hair. This is what it looks like so far. Just extremely yellow it doesn't fit my skin to it all. I don't know what just happened at the end there. I thought she was gonna tone it. She said she toned it. It looks exactly the same. I don't know what she did because she didn't tell us. I'm honestly surprised it even came out as good as it did because everything seems scary and um, wrong that she did, but then somehow it looked decent. With the right toner, that shit would have been good as hell. I don't know what she was doing. I don't know why she didn't do a good toner at the end. Something like a level eight, honestly, would look amazing on her. Like something with a little bit of ash in there, like a violet natural toner would be a Amazing and also I think she said like I don't want to damage my hair anymore You're really not gonna do much damage at all with a design permanent or a sign permanent toner So it should be fine for you toning is not necessarily a damaging process It'll actually kind of like seal the cuticle in and make everything really glossy and beautiful So I would recommend doing that to finish off this look and make everything come together, but decent job I guess uh, I don't know scary. I mean those were some scary bleach jobs It never gets less scary for me even though people keep learning It's still horrifying to watch if you want to check out my new shade shifting colors or any of my hair care products you can do so with the links right down below or go to xwonderhair.com. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.